Okay, y'all. So I wanted to start this video off a little different and just show y'all what I saw today. So um, here we have the hometown sugar cookies, which we're going to talk about. We also had a returning classic pumpkin cupcake, of course. And then also we have the old fashion cider donut caramel pumpkin swirl which of course are returning and another newbie um the first place toasted coconut cookie and then we have some other new three weeks and single weeks as well which i did not smell too many but i did remember liking the glacier lagoon um and then this is just the overall display so of course you have vermont's finest maple candy i believe this was a 75% off table in my store, y'all, which we are going to talk about it. We are going to talk about it, okay? But my store had a healthy amount of 75% off candles left, um, as well as just some decor and things like that. Here is just another display of the new candles, which I've already talked about those in that packaging in a previous video. So definitely check that out if you're curious of my thoughts. But here is just all of the other new candles. And I believe these are test candles, some of them. Um, but I picked up the newer scents. I did not pick up the repackages except for Pumpkin Cupcake. This one is the Walk in the Woods. I did not get this one. It was just a little too smoky and masculine for me. Um, but if you are interested in those type of scents, you can definitely try it out. And then this is just the 75% off body care that was left in my store. Um, You're the one and In the Stars has been reformulated and repackaged, which it was in my store in the new packaging already. Um, And then these are some new test single wicks. Um, I was really a fan of the, I believe the Indigo Paradise and the Moonlight Stream, I'm pretty sure. Um, I also really liked the Sage and Citrus. It was just a really refreshing citrus um, herbal type of scent. So yeah, First here all, we go. What is up? What is up? What is up, y'all? Welcome back to my channel. I, as you can see, I'm very excited right now. Listen, it's my favorite time of year. I know it's July, but y'all know fall candles are my favorite. Winter candles are my favorite. I've been preaching that since the beginning of my YouTube. I don't know, but y'all. We have a lot to discuss right now, okay? We have a lot to discuss. Okay, y'all, so get into the look, get into the look. So if y'all have been with me from the beginning of my YouTube journey, y'all may possibly remember when I did a massive, massive, massive fall candle haul and I did the same color lip and I did the big floppy burgundy hat for fall. I wanted to do something similar, okay? But I did not do the hat this time, I literally, was like it's it's wash day right now so my natural girls y'all understand like as soon as i'm done with this video we're washing her and getting her together because as you can see there's just a lot going on right now so i just threw on the turban but it's still the same vibe going you know it's still the same vibe so y'all i'm so excited this morning y'all it was my first day off like in a few days and i was like you know what i really just want to I want to clean my house organized and I am still going to be filming my organized my SAS body care with me so stay tuned for that but I just was not feeling it this morning y'all like it's that time of the month I'm like feeling irritable I was like you know what I need something to lift my spirits right so I was like let me just go to Bath and Body Works and go smell some of the new fall, fall body care right literally went in was not prepared I just went in to go smell some body care that was it Y'all, when I tell y'all, I walked in there. I, I, this was my first mistake. I walked in on the candle side. That was my first mistake. Walked in on the candle side. And like, normally if I plan on buying a lot of candles, I'll bring like my little uh, wagon so I don't have to carry like two big bags for them all. Y'all, I wasn't prepared at all. I walked in there empty handed and I should have left my wallet in the car. That's what I should have did, but I did not. And um, I walked in and the first thing I see is these new tester fog candles when i tell y'all i had not seen these on instagram or anything like i literally was at my store so today is monday Ju july 10th july 11th i'm sorry if the date is wrong y'all but oh actually i have the receipt right here <laughs> yeah okay so it was july 11th and so i'm just strolling through i'm not expecting to see any of these i'm expecting to just see the same fall candles that i've already reviewed from this year so if y'all want to hear the first the part one version of this where I reviewed um, these candles here, please tap into my video, I will link it below. But I saw a whole bunch of candles that I had not even seen on anybody's anything, social media. So I was just like, these candles literally came out of nowhere, okay? So y'all know, I had to pick those up, okay? 
So not only did I do that, but as I am getting my little bag to start putting some of these in, I just happened to venture towards the cash wrap and what do I see? A huge, 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 huge table of freaking 75% off candles. As I'm shopping that section, my uh, the store manager in my store, which I keep telling y'all, it pays to have a great relationship with your store associates and store manager. She comes over to me, she goes, hey, she goes, these candles over here are ringing up 75% off. And she shows me literally some of the candles from the new collection that just dropped, the new White Barn collection with the gold foil. She's like, these are ringing up 75% off. Y'all, I was good because I told y'all I wasn't super crazy about that collection when it first dropped. I got the dark velvet in Oud, but I did pick up some of the other scents because I was like, oh my God, it's 75% off. I gotta try them, girl. So, y'all, there's just so much we gotta talk about. We gotta talk about that. We gotta talk about fall body care. We gotta talk about fall candles. We just gotta talk about it all. So, girl, if you're not subscribed, what are you doing? Because as you can see, this train is taking off, okay? And I'm back, girl. I told y'all I was back. I'm back. And you know how I get when the fall drops. You know how I get when the fall drops, okay? All right. So, anyway, without further ado, y'all, let's get into it, okay, okay y'all? So, first of all, um let's do the 75 percent off candles first right because i feel like those are going to probably go the fastest um so in total let's see i did go to two stores today y'all and i'm gonna we'll talk about that but um so in total let's see the okay so all of the candles that i got were 613 um and then the new candles one of them was $14.50 and one was $16.50 because they were $10 off in my store today I guess the preview stores that are doing like test collections are doing $10 off so the one two three four five candles that I got out of the test candles were either $14.50 or $16.50 and then all of the other candles y'all literally as you can see all uh, six uh 613 662 or something like that so yeah anyways y'all let's just do the candle okay y'all so the first rack is all white burn candles i believe that were 75 percent off so this is blue bungalow um i don't recall ever smelling this in my white barn store i'm not sure but the notes in this one are leafy palms ocean sea fern and juicy pink grapefruit by the way y'all before i start talking about this go run to your stores today between today and tomorrow because i guarantee you literally there is always sas stuff left over behind especially in the bigger stores like a few days to a couple weeks after sas they always have like a little lingering either 75 or 50 percent off section somewhere in your store it might be in the back it might be to the side but just look for it because it's usually always there like after sas they usually always have a few leftover items just like how on the website right now they have the summer sales section that's basically leftover SAS stuff so yeah but anyways the notes on this one are leafy palm ocean sea firm and juicy pink grapefruit this is literally just like a grapefruit like I almost get like a pink pepper type of note in here like this reminds me of that can't that uh perfume I reviewed the pink canyon um but in a candle it smells really good I definitely get like that fresh citrus from the grapefruit and like the leafy palm I guess is what that slight green note is in there um but this smells really good and I definitely get like a slight saltiness which I guess is the all the ocean sea fern but this is definitely going to be a bathroom candle for me like I told y'all I prefer fresher scents in my bathroom so I got one of those and then I got this one which I really liked this is the coconut clementine so um, the notes in this one are fresh coconut water, ripe orange slices, and zesty lemon. Y'all already know. I told y'all citrus scents have me in a chokehold right now. Ooh, this is literally just like a fresh, creamy. I smell the coconut note. I smell. I smell the coconut milk. Mmm. It's like citrus and coconut milk. Like it smells really, really good, really refreshing. I, it, this reminds me a lot of the coconut milk in the blue, the iced coconut milk in the packaging, but like with the added citrus note, it smells really good. So I think I got two of those. Yeah, coconut and clementine. I got two of those. And then the last one in this particular packaging that I got that was 75% off is the Driftwood Waves. 
Um, it's crisp sandalwood, ocean air, and salted bergamot. Um, am I late, y'all? When did they start putting the white barn notes on the front? Am I late? Have they always done that? I don't know why I never paid attention to that if they did, but um, yeah, so those are the notes. Mm. Y'all, this smells so freaking good. I should have got more of these because I wasn't sure if I was going to like this one. I kind of just grabbed it. Oh my God. If it's some more in there today, I mean, if it's some more in there tomorrow, y'all, I might go pick some more of this up. But um, I definitely get the sandalwood, the bergamot, and like that oceany, like aquatic note. Smells really good. They're like blended perfectly together. So this is definitely a great, refreshing, like summertime scent. All right, y'all. So onto this bag. I'm going to leave it right there and just grab the candles out because <laughs> it's really heavy. I put like three racks in there. So, yeah. Okay. So, so since we're talking about this, so this, believe it or not, y'all, was 75% off. Listen, let me find it on my receipt because I just feel like y'all are not going to believe me. Yep, here it goes. Okay. So, vanilla. Yeah, there it is. Vanilla 662. So, girl, this whole collection is what, this is the one that I told y'all my sales, uh, my manager came up to me and she's like, did you know that this collection was 75% off? We don't have a mark, girl, go grab it now. And I'm like, okay. So this is the vanilla and oak wood. The notes in this one are Madagascar vanilla, rich oak wood, and hint of lavender. Yeah. I definitely get the lavender. I don't know why I didn't pick this one up the first time. I don't. I feel like I don't remember seeing this one the first time because I would have picked this up. But this is definitely like a sweet lavender, like in the same realm as like a YSL Lee, but like the the intense YSL Libre because the I know the intense version has like added vanilla to it. So this definitely smells very similar to that. It just smells really good, really inviting, really warm, really like cozy. And um, this is definitely a great summer or fall candle in my opinion. And of course the gold y'all, the gold in the packaging is really what got me. So next in that collection <laughs> that I was super surprised to even see because I did not originally see this when this collection first came out. Um, this is a repackage, but it is the peppered plum. Um, the notes in this one are bold plum, warm patchouli, and black peppercorn. I've already told y'all I love spice notes. I love patchouli. I love like any type of peppercorn or just like any type of scent like that. It just immediately puts me in like a fall kind of mood. Um, and the fact that this has plum in here, y'all. I feel like this is such a slept on fall scent because it definitely smells like the dark, ripe, juicy plums, plums, like not the plums that are like white on the inside, but the other plums that are just like dark all the way through with the peppercorn added in here and the patchouli. It's just a perfect balance of like sweet and sensual and like peppery and it just smells so good. Like literally, if I could be a candle right now with the vibe that I have going on, I would be pepper plum, like for real. That's the whole vibe that it gives me right now. I'm actually about to burn this because I did get two. I wanted to get three, but there were only like five on the table. So I was like, I'm gonna just get two and I'm gonna save three for whoever else comes in here. So yeah, <sighs> smells so good. Here's my other dark uh, pepper plum. And then I did pick up another dark velvet oud, which I'm not gonna talk too much about that because I did already talk about that scent in uh, my part one edition of my fall candles from this year so if you want to hear my thoughts on dark velvet oud definitely check out my last video okay because we're trying to speed through because we got a lot to talk about this video okay i did also find a sprinkled birthday cake so apparently y'all some of these candles and i think like the brush strokes collection i'm actually going to talk about that but in my particular store they were all over there in the 75% off table. But when, when my manager was ringing me up, they actually were mismarked. So it's like some of them in that collection are 75 off and some are supposed to be 50% off. Some are full price. Like this was supposed to be full price. But I don't know what happened, y'all. But the, the whole table, half the table was mismarked. But guess what that meant for me, honey? So since my store manager loves me, she was like, girl, I'm going to just give it to you because you're in here all the time and just know you walked in here on the right day honey and i was like 
oh my god so yeah so i got this 75 percent off and i love this um i actually burned this on my birthday this year in february and the notes are um rainbow sprinkles with vanilla frosting and fluffy cake so i'm pretty sure this is full uh full price still in white burn right now honestly but i did get this for 75 percent off this just smells so freaking good y'all literally smells like a Publix birthday cake like I feel like Publix birthday cake is like the best cake there is okay I just feel like top tier like no no birthday cake I've ever had tops birthday cake from Publix and that's what this smells like to me like the icing the the, the cake the sprinkles just everything okay it just smells then so there good. were a few more Easter candles uh, Easter candles <laughs> easter candles so i got the happy easter tutti fruity candy um i'm like so mad y'all that i filmed my organized my sas candles with me because now i feel like i have so many more that i need to add but anyway that's besides the point so this one i did not pick this up in the body care because i felt like it was a little too like sweet and candyish for me i know that sounds crazy coming from me but i do actually like it as a candle it just literally smells like, let me read y'all the notes. It's, I was about to say it smells like jelly beans. That's so funny. The notes are sweet jelly beans, mixed berries, and sugared lemon. So yeah, I honestly get all those notes. I get like that Starburst jelly bean smell. I get the candied lemon, like lemon head type of smell. And I get like the sugared berries. So it all comes together really well in this candle. I really, really like it. The next Easter candle I got, which I think I got two of these, um, this is the Somebody Loves You Sweet Carrot Cake. I did not see this at all during SAS in the three wick. I just only saw the wallflowers and the single wicks, which I did pick up, but I was happy to see this in the three wick, so I just picked it up. But yeah, it just smells so good. I don't know why in the three wick I mostly smell the frosting. Um, I feel like I said that about the single wicks too, where I smell mostly the sweet cream cheese frosting. I don't smell super, I don't smell a lot of cinnamon or like the fluffy carrot cake. I smell like a little bit of cinnamon, but I don't know. Maybe like more of the notes will come out when I burn it. So one more rack. Well, actually two more racks. I have this rack and then there's one more in here. And we'll be done with 75% off candles and we can talk about the new okay all right so um i picked up one other somebody loves you so i got two of those um this is the collection that was supposed to be half off y'all and baby i got a 75 okay i was very sad because i did not see the sour melon drop over there um but the buttery popcorn i'll try to put a video so y'all can see again but the buttery popcorn was over there um and whatever else was over there but i didn't really like the buttery popcorn i was like i don't really want to burn that so i did not pick that one up but there were only a couple of these over there which is the chocolate chip cookie the notes are oven baked cookies gooey chocolate chips and hint of flaky salt <sighs> y'all <sighs> i mean it literally just smells like a bag of Hershey's chocolate chips. Like, I can't say that I smell the actual dough part of the cookies, but it literally smells like chocolate chips, like salted chocolate chips, literally. It smells so good. Now I'm hungry and I want some chocolate. Okay, so y'all, wait, let me do this one first and then I'll do the other ones. Okay. So this was another one that I got 75% off. This is the Positively Sweet. I believe this came out with the Valentine's Day collection this year with like pink Prosecco frosting and all of those. Um, but this is the Dark Chocolate Truffles. The notes are rich chocolate, gooey butterscotch, and candied cherry. Mm. Yeah, it literally smells like those little chocolates that have like the oozing cherry center, like that's what that smells like to me. I don't even really like eating those. I just know what they smell like because I've had an experience where I bit into one once and I was just like very upset because I was like, ew. But it smells, <laughs> it smells really good. So yeah. Okay. And then another one in this collection, the red, white, and blue cake, which I was very excited about because I never really got a chance to pick this up when the, this collection dropped. I kind of just kept bypassing it because it wasn't on sale. Um, but the notes are red, red, red raspberries, ripe blueberries, whipped vanilla cream, and soft white cake. So as you guys can see, I love a good cake scent, okay? I don't smell a lot of cake, 
but I definitely, it's very heavy on like berries. It's like a tart berry type of scent, I think. I'm excited to burn this one and see uh, what comes out. Cause as of now, I smell raspberries and blueberries. Like that's what I smell. I'm not mad at it. I love berry scents. So yeah. Okay y'all. So this was my most ex exciting find. Um, and I did pick up like three or four of these. So this is the caramel cream soda. Y'all, yeah. when I smelled this, I immediately thought of that orange cream soda scent that we got. Um, I have no idea what collection. It, it was one, I feel like it was one of the summer sips collections that came out and there was like an orange soda scent. I feel like I'm gonna remember it after this video. So I'm gonna put a picture of whatever it is over here. Um, but y'all know what I'm talking about. The notes are caramel syrup, bubbly cream soda, and rich vanilla. So y'all, when I smelled this, I immediately, it, it was like an orange, a orange cream sickle soda vibe. Like, I know it doesn't have orange listed as a note on here, but, mm. If y'all remember that root beer float, candle that came out with the summer sips collection this reminds me a lot of that and whatever that orange whatever that orange candle was I, I'm gonna remember it after I do this video y'all because it was in the same collection but I feel like this is both of those together mm. y'all it just smells so good you get the bubbles you get the creaminess you get the just Y'all, it just smells so freaking good. So if you see this in your stores and it's half off or 75 or even half off, pick it up because, girl, I love how that smells. So I got, I definitely got three of those. Last okay. rack of 75% off candles before we get into the new, okay? All right, so y'all, I did pick up a, let's see, a warm ocean breeze. Um, This was 75% off. The notes are ocean sandalwood, warm sage, eucalyptus, eucalyptus zest, and coconut yeah i mean it's just a fresh like aquatic slightly citrusy type of note um like i said this will be perfect for a bathroom scent so that is why i picked that up and then here is another of my caramel cream sodas um i told y'all i got three of those i believe or four okay i thought i got four but i actually picked up two of these so i only got three of the caramel cream soda but then i did pick up another summer boardwalk and another berry waffle cone from that collection because they were also 75 percent off and i feel like i could never have enough of those because that is just the go-to non-offensive summer scent both of those are for me and then um i picked up another vanilla and oak wood so i have two of these total um from that collection that was 75 percent off and um coincidentally i actually picked this up this is another warm ocean breeze just in this gold foil packaging that was 75% off. So these are literally the exact same thing. I'm just now realizing that now that I'm home, but I'm not mad. I really like the scent and I will burn both of those in my bathroom. Okay, y'all, that's it for 75% off candles. I have one 75% off body care item and then we're gonna jump straight into fall, y'all. Okay, y'all, so this was my one 75% off candle find. I mean, 75% off body care find. Um, I will insert a video or whatever somewhere on one of these sides of what was left of my 75% off body care stuff. So basically it was stuff that was being re, um, repackaged or reformulated, but I did pick this up. This is the sweet strawberry scoop. Um, this is sugar pink strawberries, vanilla bean ice cream. Um, this looks like, I guess it went with the candles in the red, white and cake collection and all that um just from the little brush stroke but this was a soap that i had not smelled and it smells really good it's just like a really sweet like bubbly like strawberry scent creamy strawberry scent so yeah i definitely see how this could be like a strawberry ice cream scent um but it smells really good really fruity and it'll be really fun for me to use during the summer so if you care <laughs> so my lip combo today because I know a lot of y'all be asking me about it. My lip combo today is the NYX. Well, first I lined my lips with MAC uh, Current. This is honestly an OG MAC lip liner pencil. As you can see, this is really old, but 
I always repurchase Current. I use it all the time in the fall. Um, and then my lipstick, which it is the NYX Professional Makeup Suede Lipstick in the scent, <laughs> the scent, in the color Girl Bye. And that is a perfect mood for today because guess what? As far as how I feel about summer, Girl Bye. We're done with her. We're done with her. It's fall, okay? Um, and then I topped it off with the NYX Butter Gloss, which I'm actually going to go ahead and put a little bit more on in the shade Raspberry Pavola. So yeah, it's just a really nice dark uh, purple. Before I get into it, if y'all have not watched my last, my initial thoughts on this candle, please watch that video. I'm, I linked it below, but I kind of already told y'all... <laughs> On, on cold, I was not getting a lot of pumpkin. I was not getting a lot of that bakeriness. Um, and I even told y'all in my review, either a community tab or in another video, I can't really remember at this point, but I told y'all I returned this and got another batch because I was getting nothing. The throw was giving very much nothing. The wicks were struggling. Um, I got another batch and for like the first 15 minutes, I was like, okay, this seems promising. Like it started to kind of fill my room up and I got more of like a just sweet cinnamon bun type of smell i never really got pumpkin um but then the wick started struggling again and y'all this candle i mean it just performs the performance is just not there for me for this one um the throw is not there it just it doesn't give me what i need to give unfortunately and i probably would not be repurchasing this one um it is repackaged in that new packaging of candles that i'm about to talk to y'all about but i don't know I should have smelled it in that packaging to see if there was a difference, but I just felt like on cold, it already was so light. I was not getting a lot from it. Um, and it's just crazy because all the reviews are on that are online about it right now are pretty much amazing reviews. So I don't know if there's just a huge batch variation of what people are ordering online versus what's in stores right now. But as far as my overall performance and thoughts with this candle, I mean... It wasn't memorable enough for me to be like, oh my God, this candle was so bomb and I need to go buy another one. Like it, it just, it was just real blah for me. So I feel like Bath and Body Works kind of dropped the ball with this one, at least with the consistency amongst the batches. Cause if you've had a great experience with this one, then more power to you sis. But I unfortunately did not. And I've gotten two of these and had pretty much the same experience. So let's yeah. first start with an oldie, but a goodie. Miss Pumpkin Pump. Miss Pumpkin Pumpkin. Miss Pumpkin Cupcake come out in body care this year again, which I'm super, super excited about. Um, it's I think it released online today. I did not pick it up because I do have one that I picked up during SAS from last year. When it comes out, I probably will get it, but I just didn't feel the need to order it online. I'll probably just order it um, or buy it in store when it comes into my store. Cupcake, um, the notes are pretty much always the same this year. It's whipped buttercream, Madagascar vanilla, pumpkin spice, and fresh baked cupcake with natural essential oils. I will say y'all, I find it kind of weird. And I don't know if all of the repackages are like this and it's just the new scents that are not, but this one is $24.50 and the other ones in this collection that are new are $26.50, which I thought was kind of weird. Um, but yeah, aside from that girl, <laughs> Pumpkin cupcake is just one of those ones to me that I've never really been able to smell pumpkin in it. Um, even in the body care, it's just a very sweet, just like, it reminds me a lot of this, um, the sprinkled icing candle that I literally just talked to y'all about, the pink candle, or it reminds me a lot of that where it's just a sweet, like, fluffy, fun, um, just really, really like gourmand scent where I don't really smell a whole lot of pumpkin, but I'm not really mad about it. Even in the body care, it's just, the body care has like an added musk note in there. So it kind of tones down that sweetness, but the candle, it just literally smells like a really, really, really sweet, like powder, almost like confectioner sugar sweet type of scent. So yeah, it's really, really good. Um, I will say I have struggled in the past with pumpkin cupcake, um, like performance wise like how it performs how it throws so maybe hopefully this year um it does a little bit better it does smell a little bit stronger this year on cold than it has in the past so i'm excited to burn it and see how it does this year so this is another one in that collection but like i said this is 26.50 so um i don't think 
think the packaging is exactly the same, but all of these are $26.50 versus the other packaging is $24.50. But this is one of the new scents. This is Vermont's Sweetest Maple Candy. The notes in this one are Vermont maple syrup, toasted almonds, and sea salt. This candle, oh look, she matches, girl. Okay, this candle is for my gourmand lovers, okay? Seriously, this candle is for my gourmand lovers. If you love candy, sweet, syrupy, if you love blueberry maple pancakes, if you love pumpkin peanut brittle, if you love, and even pumpkin peanut brittle, I feel like was not super, super sweet, but if you just love scents that smell like butterscotch candy or caramel candy, this is a scent for you. Um, you really get that maple like candied type of scent. And then there's like an underlying like slight nuttiness. So I guess that comes from like the toasted almonds. But for the most part, you really just get a super sweet like candied maple scent. Like if you were to take the maple syrup note out of like the blueberry maple pancakes or um, the other maple pancake scent that we have and just like caramelize it, <laughs> like that's what this smells like to me. Smells really good, y'all. I love this one. I'm very excited to burn it. So we'll see how she does. The next one that we have is Toasted Coconut Cookie. Y'all, when I smelled this one, I was immediately transported back to my old, really, really old fall, one of my old fall candle videos where I purchased the Coconut Macaroon. Um, I no longer have that candle in my collection, but I vividly remember it because I was so annoyed that it had such a light throw. And also it had a weird Play-Doh smell to me. I know that candle, it was like either you loved it or you hated it because some people loved it and some people were like, oh my God, this is horrible. Like it was like a coconutty scent to me that was doughy. It was almost like an uncooked dough, like Play-Doh type of smell. And I just could not get with it. So with this one, the notes are toasted coconut flakes, vanilla cookies, and sprinkle of cocoa powder. From what I remember, coconut macaroon had pretty similar notes um except i think the cocoa in here is what's kind of for the most part different from that one i mean this literally smells like coconut macaroon with an added like hershey's cocoa powder note added to it it smells pretty good um it is kind of faint on cold to me like i have to keep smelling it But it does smell really, really good. It definitely, I definitely get the toasted coconut, like the coconut flakes with a little bit of cocoa in it and like almost a slight like buttery, like I guess that's maybe like the cookie note on there, but it's like a slight salty buttery type of note. Um, but this one smells really good, y'all. I'm excited to burn this one as well and give you guys my thoughts. Um, I definitely like this one a lot more on cold than I liked coconut macaroon when it came out some years ago. So Fingers crossed that this one is better. Um, it's definitely not like a 100% repackage. I would say it is pretty close, at least from what I remember, because again, I don't have coconut macaroon in my collection anymore, but I will say that um, it is pretty close in scent to coconut macaroon. So the next one I was very excited about because this is the first one that I saw that actually drew me into the store and I was like, oh my God. So I did bring out two candles to compare to this one because we have a little story time we have to talk about with this, okay? So listen. So I brought out Pumpkin Snickerdoodle from some years ago and um, Mary Cookie to compare to these because literally y'all, the notes on Hometown Sugar Cookies are warm sugar cookies, ground cinnamon, fresh nut nutmeg sprinkled with sugar, okay? But the notes on pumpkin snickerdoodle are warm sugar cookies, ground cinnamon, fresh nutmeg, and sprinkled sugar. So they're the exact same notes. So I don't know if hometown sugar cookies was a typo that just got sent out anyway, or if these two are complete repackage of, repackages of each other, but let's see. Okay, y'all, so I smell both of these side by side <laughs> like a million times and they are super close, okay? I don't know if it's just because they have the same notes on the bottom or what, but they are super close. I feel like 
pumpkin snickerdoodle has maybe slightly more cinnamon in it and this one has almost like a little bit of like an added milkiness to it i know there's no milk or like cream or anything on the notes but for some reason i'm getting like a milky note but y'all they smell very similar they smell real similar if y'all have both of these or you have access to smell both of these side by side y'all let me know your thoughts below um i do feel like this one is just a little bit richer and this one maybe has a little bit more of that spice in the from the nutmeg and the cinnamon but they are definitely very very similar i'm interested to know if the notes are exactly the same or if these have a completely different note in them and it just was a misprint I don't know y'all, but I'm interested to see how this plays out <laughs> as these start getting rolled out nationwide and people are able to smell them, so. And then as far as that candle in comparison to Mary Cookie, um, which was just the closest cookie scent that I felt like I had, the notes in Mary Cookie are fresh baked cookies, sparkling sugar crystals and rich vanilla. So, I mean, these notes are pretty similar um, aside from the nutmeg and the cinnamon that's in here. But even these two, y'all, are super similar. I definitely get more spice in here, though, with the nutmeg and the cinnamon. So, yeah, this is definitely not a dupe or a repackage of Mary Cookie. Um, Mary Cookie does have more of just, like, that richness, that vanilla, that, like, sweetness in it. Whereas this one does have a little bit more spice. Um, but it definitely smells closer to pumpkin snickerdoodle than it does to Mary Cookie to me. So, so yeah. this is the last of the new candles that I picked up. Um, I did not pick up any of the repackages. So in this same packaging, um, pumpkin snickerdoodle was out. Old Fashioned Cider Donut which was out, which I did not pick that up just because I picked up two from um an older packaging like I picked up two during SAS so I was like I don't need to get this one right now I might pick it up um and do a side-by-side -side comparison like if there's a candle sale but as of right now I just wanted to get the new stuff so this is Washington's finest apple macchiato um the notes in this one are Washington spiced apples hint of cinnamon and caramel drizzle with frothed milk y'all as soon as I smelled this I said oh girl I got two candles that I need to compare this to to see, okay? So the first one that I thought of, of course, was Old Fashioned Cider Donut, which um, Old Fashioned Cider Donut did come out this year in that packaging. So I smelled them side by side. Um, I looked at the notes. So Old Fashioned Cider Donut has Old Fashioned Cake Donut, Baked Apple with Brown Sugar and Cinnamon. So both of these have apple, both of these have cinnamon. Um, this one apparently does not have caramel, so we're gonna smell them side by side. Mm. yeah so this one the apple was a little bit more tart and definitely get the bakery like bready donut note in here so they're definitely different um also the apple in here is a lot sweeter so the baked apple i guess it's a lot sweeter yeah these smell similar they're in the same realm but they're definitely not um this is definitely not a repackage of Old Fashioned Cider Donut. Like that one definitely has an added bakery note. Um, I do not smell macchiato or any type of milkiness in here, at least not to my nose. But I do get a really like slightly tart green apple almost with like a little bit of caramel. And that is why I was like, oh no. I need to compare it to Wicked Apple, girl. I need to see what's going on. So the notes in Wicked Apple are ghostly green apple, uh, creepy caramel drizzle, and vicious vanilla bean. So y'all, these, again, the notes are super similar. So when I smelled them side by side, I was like, girl, y'all ain't slick. Y'all, I do feel like the apple and wicked apple is a little tiny bit more tart, but these are very similar, y'all. 
I feel like the apple in Wicked Apple is a little bit more tart and it's overall just a lot more rich and decadent smelling from that, from the caramel and that. This one, while it smells great, I get more cinnamon in here. The apple is a little bit sweeter and it's just a little bit more toned down than this one is. But they both smell really good. And is it worth having both of them in your collection? Absolutely, because why not, girl? Why not? Okay, y'all. So, first of all, love when this happens. So, I'm editing this video right now. And, of course, my online order from, like, some days ago or a week or so ago arrived. So, there's some last-minute essays tidbits in here as well as my online candle exclusives. So, um, we're just going to talk about it. So, um, I've already reviewed this soap before in a SAS haul, so I'm not gonna talk about it again, but I did pick up another one because I thought the packaging was really cute and it smells great. And I also got a coconut cream pie hand soap because I do not have this scent in a hand soap and I love this scent. I've already talked about it in a previous haul. If you wanna hear my thoughts, please check out my past SAS videos. Next, I got a lavender marshmallow. Um, This is just a Scent, this is honestly, I believe this is usually like a Christmas scent, but um, I always have loved this scent and I think it smells really, really great in a hand soap. And it's just a perfect blend of like lavender and like that sweet fluffy marshmallow scent from what I can remember anyway. Let me just smell it and make sure it smells the same. Yeah. So the notes are lavender, vanilla marshmallow, and warm amber. So that explains why I love it because I love anything that has marshmallow and anything that has amber. So yeah. And then I picked up a Love You Cherry Much Cherry Frost. The notes are red cherry, fresh citrus, and frosted berries. Um, all of these are 75% off y'all, by the way. I think I caught these like, I don't know, some random Saturday or something like when the new fall candles came online and I picked up the uh, online exclusives, I just saw some of these. So all of these soaps were 75% off. And then I completed my berry waffle cone collection in the body care. Um, I believe I had only had one body cream of this. So I just picked up another body cream and I picked up the fine fragrance mist because they were 75% off and I had not seen the mist in my store. Um, because I believe it was supposed to be an online exclusive and I somehow found the body cream in store one day. So yeah. So my girl pumpkin peanut brittle is here. She's here. Honey. She's here. Listen, I really wish I had one from previous years to compare y'all, but I don't. So if you are not familiar with pumpkin peanut brittle, first of all, I'm a little sad she doesn't have the fancy lid that the other ones have, but oh well. But the notes are crunchy caramel brittle, salty peanuts, and toasted pumpkin seeds. Mm. y'all it smells so good it literally has just the perfect blend of like that nuttiness that saltiness the sweetness like the caramel it, it's almost like you can literally taste like the brittle like if you've ever had a caramel brittle or something like that oh, oh my god I cannot wait to burn this, y'all. It just smells so good. I have reviewed this before in depth um, from one that's a previous year. The scent really has not changed, at least to my nose. I haven't smelled it in some years now, but from what I remember, mm, y'all, it just smells amazing. I love this candle. Super, super excited to have it in my collection again. Oh my God. This was a 75% off one. That got mixed up in here. Sorry. Um, I'm sitting here like, why do I have four candles in here? I forgot this was a random 75% off one that I had. This is Fresh Spring Morning. Spring Morning Dew, Aloe Blossoms, and Creamy Orange Flower. It's got kind of that laundry type of scent, honestly. It's very, like, powdery, slightly floral. It literally smells like... It smells like a dryer sheet. Like, those outdoors the the dryer sheets that have like the clothesline hanging on it that's what that smells like to me it smells good um it's probably gonna go in my bathroom because it's like a refreshing type of scent so right, yeah so this was another returning repackage that was an online exclusive this year honey this is fall farmhouse i have reviewed her from when she came out originally in that giant haul i keep telling y'all about so if you want some nostalgia girl go watch my old candle video but this is uh spice pumpkin forest pine branch and fresh fall air 
Mm. Y'all, this just puts me in the mindset of like, if the candle leaves autumn woods and fresh balsam had a baby. It's like the perfect like transitioning from fall into winter candle, literally. Oh my God. Y'all, I love this candle. I gotta get some more of these y'all, for real. I forgot how much I love this candle because I hadn't had it in my collection for so long. Oh my God, it smells so good. All right, y'all. Last one from my online order. Okay, y'all. So for the online order, we saved the best for last, honey. At least I hope we saved the best for last because I have not smelled her. But this is Banana Walnut Muffin Girl. Ooh, look at her. Oh, she looks so good. The notes are sweet banana, golden nutmeg, cinnamon, sugar, muffin. Um, I wish I had some of the other banana fall scents to compare this to, but I do not. Um, so depending on what she's smelling like, I may go grab my banana bundt cake to compare, but... I feel like they should be different, so let's see. Okay, y'all, so I did go grab my banana bundt cake so I can compare these two because... Y'all, this one is so faint. I'm gonna have to burn it and let y'all know. Like, I definitely get like that ripe banana smell and I get a little bit of like breadiness. It's definitely not as rich as banana bundt cake. Like banana bundt cake is definitely richer. You get a little bit more like of that cinnamon type of smell. This is just super light. I get like a soft banana, a tiny little, a slight like nuttiness and like a fresh baked bread type of smell, but it is still overall super light. So. Hopefully, I don't have the same issues that I had with pumpkin cinnamon bun and I just don't smell it. But um, I mean, yeah, y'all, we're going to see. We're going to see. But that is it, y'all. Thank y'all so much for tuning in. I'm so excited for y'all to watch this. I'm so excited for y'all to get your hands on some of these and let me know how y'all feel about them. Um, but stay tuned for the body care portion of this. This will be in another video because this video is already going to be super, super, super long. And if y'all want to see body care, then you can see body care in another video. Okay, but that's all I got for y'all. Thank y'all so much. And I'll talk to y'all in my next video. Bye.